So what's going on family? Welcome to another video. I hope the sound is good, but as y'all can see, I am inside of the six unit apartment building and I definitely want to update y'all cause a bunch of things did happen. So let's get right to it. So unit one, bedroom, turn around, walk straight. Brighten it up for y'all. Bathroom. Bed number two. The kitchen and everything is all the living area right here. So this is a two bed, one bath for the first apartment and for the second apartment. So this is the front door, right? That's unit one, unit two, go straight back. The hallway. This is like the kitchen area, living kitchen area. Bedroom one is right here, so you will go in right here. And then bed two. And this is a bathroom. Let's go upstairs. So framing is about, like I said, man, like 95% done. We, we're gonna finish everything when we get this stop work order moved. So up to the second level, apartment three. This is like a closet, bedroom one. Window, closet right there. Living space, living space. And I think our bathroom is gonna be in here as well. And this is bedroom two. Not that big, but got two bedrooms out of it. Apartment three, this is the bathroom. I think this one only has one bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. Living space. Of course, the bedroom is in here, which is a really big bedroom, actually. Apartment five. Oh. Here, it's gonna be the living area. Here you go, bedroom number one. Again, not that big of a bedroom, but we're trying to get two in every one, except for one. Bathroom. Bedroom number two. As you can see, it's a closet. Let's go up to the last apartment unit. So this is the living area right here. Two bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Yeah, not that big of a bedroom, but you're gonna get two bedrooms out of this joint closet. Bathroom. Bedroom number two is right here. Yeah. All right, y'all, quick update. So it's been about a little, maybe like a month and one week. As you can see, we made crazy progress. We demoed everything. We damn near done with framing and we did start the HVAC system. We did get a stop work order on the project. And for those who don't know what a stop work order is, that's when the city or the county, wherever you live at, come out and they basically tell you stop all work completely until you get all your permits and plans uh, approved. Now, we didn't try to cut corners or nothing, but Baltimore City now has something called e-permits, which means you gotta do everything online. So we did everything up front. However, they are taking forever to approve our, our permits and our plans. Every day is costing us money, so we told them to start work. So everything was in the system, it's just that the, the city is taking forever. So it is a learning experience. Again, this is brand new for Baltimore City, brand new for me. So it is what it is. So we got a stop work order and now we are waiting to get our plans submitted by the architect. So the first plans that we submitted were good, but they were good only for residential. Again, it's my first time doing commercial. Anything over four units is considered commercial. So we had to go back and the way the plans had to be submitted, what was required to be on the plans is different than residential. Cause this is commercial, like I said. So we gotta wait two weeks. We got one more week left. 
and an extra seven thousand dollars out of our pocket to have these had to have the architect draw up the plans the right way after we submit the plans and they get approved they will take the stop work order off of the building so we can proceed with work now i'm gonna be all the way real with y'all that doesn't stop us completely man we still getting some things done just kind of under the radar man we got to do what we got to do again even though they said it's a stop work order, man, you gotta figure out ways to get things done anyway. So again, I think if that didn't happen, man, we would be about 40% done. All right, so number two. Again, this is a commercial building and in Baltimore City, it's required that we get a sprinkler system. I don't, a lot of y'all don't know what that is, but that's like, some of y'all might live in houses now, especially if they're new construction, where you see those little sprinklers in the, in, in, in the ceiling just in case a fire break out. The sprinkler system will come on and kind of put out the fire or try to put out the fire. So that's $20,000, we knew he was gonna need that, but that process is, is crazy. You gotta get a flow test, the fire department is involved. We gotta go test the fire hydrant out, outside. It's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of things we gotta do. On top of, we got to get a fire alarm, as if like if you ever been to any commercial building downtown or school, you know, they all got fire alarms. So uh, we had that guy come out today. We're trying to figure out, we're trying to see how much it's going to cost us. He's going to give us a cost later tonight. So yeah, fire alarm is something new that we never had to go through. So we got to wait for that to come back and see what the price is as well, as well as installing that. So, so far we spent about... Thirty to forty thousand dollars so far. We actually requested our second draw from the lender for sixty thousand, so we can go ahead and uh, pay everybody and get get reimbursed all the money that we put out. Again, if you don't know how this work, you pay the contractors. The lender come out, inspect the work, and approve the work, and then he reimbursed you for what you paid out to the contractors. Again, I'm not using any of my own cash. I got lines of credits, credit cards. I got access this to a lot of funding. And you know, when you get into real estate, you definitely want to make sure you go into it with the resources and the money ready. Rather, it's your money, somebody else's money, credit cards, lines of credit, loans, whatever the case may be. So yeah, that's where we at, y'all. Hopefully, again, I'm not the best with the camera as far as the lighting. I think the lighting was a little bit off, but that's where we at right now. I'm trying to keep y'all up to speed and up to date of what's going on. The most important thing we want to do right now is get the, the stop work order lifted so we can continue to have everybody in here. That's why I'm so, so, so quiet and I can do this video because nobody's here. I think a neighbor might have, you know, was complaining or snitched or something, honestly. There's always somebody hating. It is what it is. We ain't tripping. Again, all this stuff is a learning experience and I went into it with ready for all the shits, man. So I ain't tripping. Hope this was informative. I'm going to keep up to date. I'm going to keep y'all up to date. I'll do another video when we get the stop work order uh, um, uplifted and we can continue to do work. So if I got any questions, let me know, man. Let's get it.